Hello and welcome back to Simply Solo Playthroughs. I hope so far you're having a really good day. Now let's try and make it a little bit better with my top five in the month of July. Coming in at number five is Harsh Shadows. Harsh Shadows is a small game where you go and you have to get clues. There are no dice involved. It's just done with movements uh, based on these cards. And you go and have to go through the different places, find the locations, find the clues, and solve the crime. It's a great game. It's a little spy game. When that first came to Kickstarter, my comment was, Solo? Spy game? I'm sold. And Rachel has an ace of a game here, and I really appreciate it. Thank you, Rachel, and I hope that you come up with something new, because I am really excited for anything that you might come out with. So let's take a look at number four. Number four, coming in at number four, is no surprise, is Hostage Negotiator. The game where the dice hate you. They don't just dislike you. They actively, willfully, with forethought and malice, hate you. I cannot exaggerate that. You play a hostage negotiator, you're trying to uh, get through things and get people uh, out to safety. It's a great game published by Van Ryder Games. And we'll talk more about it in just a little bit. So let's move on to number three. Number three is a small game that's a print and play game currently, but Rack Patrol. I played a whole bunch of this this month. Why this wasn't a lunchtime game is beyond me. You are playing a submarine captain in World War II. You are to go through and you have to go sink some ships. You have to avoid, you really want to avoid that guy. And you're really trying to ultimately, like every soldier or sailor, your primary job is to get home. So, this is a great game. It's going to be coming out on Kickstarter in the next month or so as a USS Harder. And I hope it's going to be very successful because it is a great game and I really like it. And it'll be published by Ward Forge Games. Coming in at number two for the month of July is actually a new game. And you've probably already figured it out, but it's Final Girl. Final Girl is, of course, the cousin to Hostage Negotiator. The dice still hate you. I don't feel like they hate you quite as much. But what's really great about Final Girl is you need two boxes to play. And you can ultimately mix and match all the different sets together within Final Girl. And Final Girl is just such a good game. It is right dice driven but of course it's also partly card driven so this has been a really good game and expect to see more of it on the channel so let's move on to the top game number one has changed the last number one has completely fallen off that of course was imperial assault number one for the month of july is guesses? That's right. Legendary Encounters, an alien deck building game. I don't know why I do that. Legendary Encounters is really good. You play through the alien movies. Uh, we're going to come up with a mix and match coming through for the uh, month of August. And we're going to play all of the all the Ripley characters. And we're going to play one the first movie, the second objective will be the second movie, the third objective will be the third movie. So it'll be very interesting to see how that runs through and how things uh, change within everything. So Legendary Encounters, an alien deck building game, is by far my number one game. I played nine? Well, three or nine, depending on how you want to count them. I hope you've enjoyed this list. Make sure you come back again next month to see our 
to see what we've done for August, and I hope that you have an absolutely great day. Please like and subscribe.